Hey guys, so you just got the EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 KO Ultra card, but how do you get it in your system? Don't worry guys, in this video, I'm not only gonna show you how to install the card in your system, but I'm gonna show you how to prepare your system for this card and install the latest and the greatest drivers. So come check it out. First thing you're gonna wanna do is turn off the computer or just go ahead and unplug it. Now, before you go ahead and touching the video card and anything inside of the system, make sure the first thing you do is just ground yourself. Go ahead, touch the inside of your case, the aluminum, the metal, the steel, just to get all the ESD out of your body or wear one of the antistatic wristbands or the ankle bands. Whatever you do, just make sure you get out all that electricity so you don't zap anything in your system. So now, the other thing we're going to want to do after we've shut it down and grounded ourselves is we're going to want to disconnect the PCIe connection on the video card. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and for AMD cards, the clip will be on the top and for NVIDIA cards, it will most probably be on the bottom. So we're just going to go ahead and push down on this little retention mechanism here, locking the cable in place and just pull it out. Okay, and we could just drop this for right now. We'll get back to that in one sec. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and unscrew the video card from the case. Now, yours might be in a different spot. Typically, they're going to be right in here, but inside of this case, it's along the side here. Now, if you're interested in anything inside of this system, I will have links to everything in the description down below, so check that out. I'm just gonna go ahead unscrew here again so that I could take the video card out and then holding everything in place aside from those two screws is this screw here holding everything here in place I'm just going to open that up like that for now so then we can't just pull the video card out because then we'd end up ripping the actual PCIe slot so if you notice right over here there's a little clip and let me zoom in so you can see that right over here holding that in place. So what we're going to do, and you might notice the card just slide out a little tiny bit, is we're just gonna push that in, okay? And you might have noticed the card slide out just a little tiny bit. So now I'm gonna push it back in. Now I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna show it to you from a little bit further out. Okay, so now again, just gonna push that in. Okay, and you saw the card pop out a little bit over here and now we can just easily pull the card out all right so now we have this video card out we can easily go ahead and slide this video card in now the reason i'm showing you this is because in case you're upgrading from an older video card a dead video card a lower powered video card or maybe you don't have a video card there at all i want to show you the different ways you can do it so now what we're going to want to go ahead and do and first off don't touch these gold pins but what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to line up these two little pegs over here back here in between the motherboard and the rear of the case we're going to slide these two little guys right into there and then this connection is going to go right into the pcie slot okay so we're going to see these pins slide right into the slot here okay and just like before where we saw that little clip back there that held the card in place which by the way it holds it right in place right here but if we slide this in right over here now just like we pushed it in to pull the card out that's going to go ahead and pop out to lock the card in place so just look over there okay so you'll notice that little clip just went click right out so now at this point just going to go ahead and slide this back into place over here just screw that in now we're going to go ahead and screw the video card in so one thing you want to make sure when you're screwing the video card in is that you have full access to the dvi the hdmi and the display port so just make sure nothing is kind of stuck behind the case there and then screw that into place
Okay, now with that screwed into place is connect the PCIe cable. Now, if you remember, I mentioned AMD's at the top. So you see here, this is not going to go ahead and clip in. So we're just going to go ahead and either need to reverse it or just use another cable. So I'll just go ahead and use the other cable and then we'll just slide it into place. All right, so now all we need to do is go ahead and connect all of the cables, so one sec. All right, so coming along the back, if you're coming from onboard video, you might be a little bit used to plugging in your video card somewhere along here. But now that you have a video card, you're actually gonna be plugging it in down here. So we'll just go ahead for now and connect the HDMI cable. And of course, we're gonna need to plug the power supply back in. So just plug that in right down here. And now just connect all the rest of the cables as you normally would to your machine. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and turn on the computer for the first time. You might see me fumbling around a little bit over here. I have my capture card and I gotta turn it on and off at the right time, so let's get started. All right, so when you first turn on your computer after switching video cards, going from Nvidia to AMD or AMD to Nvidia, your image might look a little different from this. It might look a little smaller or bigger, fuzzier, and, and don't get freaked out by that. That's perfectly normal. So we're just gonna go ahead and log in first real quick. All right, so coming into Windows, things might look a little bit odd for you. Maybe the large display, blurry. It might just look incredibly weird. Don't worry about that, that's normal. You're switching from AMD to Nvidia or from Intel to Nvidia or from NVIDIA to AMD, but in this case, we're switching from AMD to NVIDIA. So first thing we're going to want to do once we have the machine up and running is just open up a browser. We're going to go to NVIDIA.com. That's who makes the GPU. Uh, it might be an EVGA card, but NVIDIA makes the GPU. So then we hover over drivers. We go to GeForce drivers. Then we'll do a manual driver search over here. And then we'll select our video card over here. We have a 2060, Windows 10 64-bit English, but choose what you have, of course. Then click Start Search. Okay, then it's going to find, download whatever is the latest and the greatest. Click on that one. And then we'll go ahead and click on Download Now. So while that's downloading, we'll switch over to another tab and go to wagnardsoft.com. This is where we're gonna download DDU. So on Wagnardsoft, we'll scroll down a little bit and we'll go down to DDU Display Driver Uninstaller and we'll click on that, whatever the latest version is. Then we'll scroll down a little bit more. And then down here where it says, click here for download and support. Then scroll down a little tiny bit more and then we'll click official download here. Okay, so that's downloaded DDU. It's downloading the NVIDIA drivers right now. So we'll give that a few seconds for it to completely download. Okay, then we'll go down here to DDU, click on that, and then we'll switch it to folder called DDU and then click extract. So now that we know where the NVIDIA drivers are and we have the DDU drivers expanded, what we're going to want to do is right click on the start button, then hold down the left shift key, hover over shut down or sign out, and you're going to want to click restart. Okay, keep holding the left shift key. You're going to notice the screen change a little bit. Okay, then while we're at this screen, the choose an option, we're going to select troubleshoot. Then we're going to select advanced options. And then we're going to go ahead and click startup settings. Finally, restart to change windows options such as, and we'll click restart. Okay. And then here we'll press the number four to enable safe mode. All right. So then when we're in safe mode, we're going to go ahead and just close this window down. Again, everything's going to look really blurry, really weird. We're going to want to click on File Explorer, then come to this PC, the C drive, then we'll go down to this DDU folder here, and then we're gonna click on Display Driver Uninstaller. 
First off, we're going to want to click Options. Might need to resize that because it's so large. So then over here, scroll down a little bit. And in case we had NVIDIA, we're going to want to check all this here. And if we had AMD and we're switching to NVIDIA, just go ahead and check all of these over here. And then make sure that you click you put a check in the box that reads prevent downloads of drivers from Windows update when Windows search for a new device. So what that does is now Windows is not going to look for a new driver for your video card. It's going to use what you selected. Okay, then click OK here. Click close here. Then here under select device type, I'm going to click here, select GPU. For GPU, we're going to select AMD or NVIDIA or Intel. Whatever card we had before, we're going to select it. Even if you had an NVIDIA card before, I do recommend selecting NVIDIA to remove that. But in this case, we're going to be removing AMD and then click clean and restart. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to strip your machine from any AMD video drivers, any NVIDIA video drivers, any Intel video drivers. Of course, if you select that brand and then it's going to go ahead and restart you in regular windows mode so that you can install your regular windows drivers so let's do that real quick okay so now that we're in here we'll just go ahead and open up the explorer we'll click downloads then we'll go to the nvidia driver and you can change this path if you like we'll just click ok here okay and then here we'll go ahead and leave NVIDIA graphics driver in GeForce Experience and click agree and continue. And then we'll select custom, click next. Now, even though we've gone ahead and removed the old drivers, I always do this just because we'll go ahead and select perform a clean install and then click next. All right, so we're all ready to go. We can just leave this all default if we'd like. Click close on here. And you can go ahead and log in. I'm going to go ahead and skip that just for right now. We're going to go ahead and skip all this just for now. We have all the drivers, all the software installed. We can right click on the background and go to the NVIDIA control panel, agree and continue. And then here's where you can set up a lot of your advanced options for your video card. All right, so inside of the control panel, we have the 3D settings, display, developer, video, all that good stuff so that we can really unlock a lot of the performance features and benefits that NVIDIA provides us. All right, so in this video, I've shown you how to install the EVGA GeForce RTX 2060 KO Ultra gaming card and I've shown you how to also install the drivers. Now I will be performing a video showing you guys how the game performs in games and of course do a complete review of the video card. But over here you can check out a video how to build a complete system and then down here if anything for you AMD guys I'll show you guys how to install an AMD card just like I did for this card. As always guys please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton to keep bringing you more content like this. And if you have any questions or concerns, please do go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to help you with just about anything. Yeah, see you guys.